Welcome to the Monday Morning Moment. I'm Roy Marcus and today we're at the flagship and we're here to celebrate to enjoy the visual excitement of black marble and brass. Black and brass, not a new phenomenon. The last thing it is is trendy. Some of the most spectacular classical installations in the world feature this combination. My favorite is at the Vatican, the extraordinary Baldacchino by Bernini with its swirl of brass encircling black marble columns. I thought of those Bernini columns the first time that I saw Zephyr, and that is one of the truly gratifying things about what we do. Allison Rose created Zephyr last year in collaboration with Nancy Epstein, Jill Cohen, and our design department, and yet the way that the brass sinuously rides the spine of the carved Nero tile from one tile to the next, for me, it's part of a design movement hundreds of years old. Likewise, the flute Nero Deco. Here, we conceptually inverted fluted columns to create a narrow marble 12 by 24 tile with symmetrically rising and falling flutes, and then delineated the black flutes with brass. Inherently dramatic, classical, grand, beautifully luxurious. And moving forward to the age of Art Deco, the 1920s and 30s, when the couture regarded black and gold as a signature combination to connote luxurious chic, we've been inspired to create Tempo, a black marble and brass water jet suffused with the syncopated energy of that era, but so at home in hours for so many kinds of projects. And remember, you can always add a little gleam of gold to a project, black marble or otherwise, with our brass liners. And we have so many great black marble items. Look at the thin herringbone, absolutely making this kitchen by designer Ryan Sagayan of California, who works with Westside Tile in LA. So, a full story, one perfect for sharing with your trade clients virtually or in person. For Artistic Tile, I'm Roy Marcus. Make this week gleam.